Lucas. And three, two, one. Tonight, IBM, friend or foe, IBM has been announced as the winner of a long-term VA contract to modernize the electronic health records management system for the embattled VA. IBM will utilize the latest technology to provide up-to-the-minute care for veterans all across this great country. The VA released a statement, we are serious about health of our nation's heroes and are sparing no expense to update, modernize, and create an efficient system to diagnose and provide real-time healthcare solutions for those who have served our country. We thank IBM, a company that has a long history providing cutting-edge information technology solutions for stepping in, providing leadership and experience that will be valuable to our country and save taxpayers money. Hold on. This isn't who we are. No. Give me those freaking cue cards, man. Ah! You know what? You know what's going to happen with this? You know what the implications are of this Watson program that's going to come up? It's a computer that they're going to use to replace the doctors at the VA to do the death panels that have been going on to help take away human emotion from making those decisions. This is something that's got to change. This is ridiculous. And I'm Joe Biggs with Infowars.com and I'm not going to take it anymore. I'm standing outside of the Veterans Affairs Center in Austin, Texas. This will be the proving ground for IBM's brand new technology, Watson. Now what that is is a supercomputer that will have all of your medical records, admin records, and many other things downloaded into it. They want to use this machine to replace the doctors that have had death panels going on at the VA for years now. Newly released documents expose more explicitly the details of IBM's pivotal role in the Holocaust. All six phases, identification, expulsion from society, confiscation, ghettoization, deportation, and even extermination. Moreover, the documents portray with crystal clarity the personal involvement and micromanagement of IBM President Thomas J. Watson and the company's co-planning and co-organizing of Hitler's campaign to destroy the Jews. Why is the Department of Veterans Affairs awarding IBM with a large contract to bring in Watson, a new technology that will be used to replace doctors in an already failing VA health system? Why are they naming it after Thomas J. Watson, the founder and president of IBM? Did you know this man was responsible for making the machines that created punch cards with a coding system to label and eventually kill thousands of Jews? This machine would generate codes to be tattooed on prisoners in Hitler's concentration camps. This man committed genocide by any standard, and IBM and the VA want to throw it in our face clear as day and name it after that monster. If this doesn't piss you off, I don't know what will. Hitler was so impressed with what Watson had done for the Third Reich that he awarded him with a special award, created specifically for the occasion, to honor extraordinary service by a foreigner. The medal was the Order of the German Eagle with Star, bedecked with swastikas and was to be worn on a sash over Watson's cold, dead heart. Why do they want to put a machine in charge of your health, you might ask yourself? They do it so this pre-programmed evil robot can make the life or death decisions about you, the veteran, instead of the doctors that have received so much flack from the VA scandal over the last year. This helps take human emotions away and also allows the medical personnel to use Watson as a scapegoat should any problems arise, like death. Watson will be a new form of medical AI technology used to run the death panels already in place at the VA. How soon will it be until this technology moves over into civilian health care? Will you be a victim of Watson's wrath? This is also happening in another area of the government. They now want to replace humans that fly drones and make them fully autonomous. And many pilots were also claiming PTSD. Once you take the human aspect out of dealing with healthcare and war, things become even more evil. Who is going to check the morals of the men and women who program these machines? How do we know the machines will be told to act ethical and make the right decisions? Well, there you have it. That is the new Watson technology that's going to run the death panels at the already failing VA healthcare system. Now I have a vision of how this Watson technology will be implemented when you walk into the VA. Let's go in here and take a look. Next. Uh, 
going on. Alright, right arm. Alright, uh, Watson has determined you need to step in the medical chamber. So, uh, go ahead. Next. The globalists have controlled the mainstream media for a long time, but now they're expanding, making the weaponization even more vicious and deceptive. All the major networks are state-run. We are partnering this year with the NFL. The NFL has become a political weapon against the Second Amendment and pushes Obamacare. MSNBC tells us that our children belong to the state. We have to break through our kind of private idea that kids belong to their parents or kids belong to their families and recognize that kids belong to whole communities. The brainwashing media machine has been turned up on high and it's time for humanity to double down on the true people's media and strike back against the tyrants that are destroying our civilization with their lies and fraud. We are the resistance. You are the resistance. You are the info war. It is more important than ever to realize that we are not the alternative media. We are the true media. The establishment dinosaur press is dying. We are in an information war and we are losing that war. Join us at InfoWarsNews.com and PrisonPlanet.tv. Members can share their memberships with up to 11 people. By subscribing, you will literally be buying war bonds in the info war to expand our operation in the face of the tyrants. Join us at PrisonPlanet.tv.